The project came about because Jose and I have been studying pharmaceuticals on the lake for a number of years, looking at what goes through human bodies that gets transmitted or let out to the lake through the wastewater treatment plant. And while we were doing that, um, a group came to the wastewater treatment plant and wanted to sample the effluent from microbeads. And so the, the effluent was sampled from microbeads along with about 30 other places across the state of New York. And the Office of the Attorney General released a report showing that microbeads were in fact present in the effluent of the wastewater treatment plant. So I mentioned the microbeads, and those were in facial cleansers and in toothpastes and things like that. And it became pretty apparent quickly that they were a potential threat. And so the Obama administration banned the use of microbeads in products like that. But it turns out that's just the tip of the iceberg. The microplastics come from degrading larger plastics. So whenever there are macroplastics in water, break apart through um, photo degradation reactions or wind and wave and patterns, you go from macroplastics down to microplastics. That's one source. Another source uh, that turns out to be pretty important is uh, microfibers. So they're not actually beads themselves. Beads are where the concern started, but now the concern has more, more towards microfibers because there are many, many more microfibers than there are microbeads in existence. Most of us wear synthetic clothing most of the time. We wear fleece, we wear nylon, we wear polyester. Every time we wash those, an inordinate number of fibers end up leaving the washing machine and going down to the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, plasticizers in them, for example, and we know that many of those are endocrine disruptors. And the third thing is that they can absorb other chemicals like the DDTs or the PCBs, the polychlorinated biphenyls. This plant was not designed to, move, to remove the type of plastics or microfibers, although it removes 98% of that, but what is left, the 2% is very significant. You're talking about hundreds of million particles per day. Not very difficult to avoid uh, using synthetic fibers. You have cotton, uh, probably silk, wool, that are eventually quickly degraded because they're natural fibers. And the idea of this is that if you put this in the washing machine, the little fibers will collect here and it will absorb the fibers and prevent them from going down to the wastewater treatment plant. The extent to which it's effective, um, we haven't tested yet. We're hoping to do that this year. But there are some innovative projects like that to try to keep the washing machine effluent out of there. The rest is just plastics in general, just using less plastic and, and recycling it, reusing it, or not buying it at all, just to keep the entire suite of plastics out of, out of the uh, natural ecosystems.